As you know, one of the key locations in the Anderson universe after the Earth and the Moon, mm-hmm. of course, was mm-hmm. Mars. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Sure. So Mars was the home of the Rock Snakes in Thunderbirds Argo, the home of the yeah. Mistrons in Captain Scarlet, the home of Zelda. Well, I say home, the adopted home, the stolen home of yes. Zelda in Terror Hawks, and the home of the other Mistrons in New Captain Scarlet. Yeah. Now Mars, yeah. of course, as you well know, has been a prominent world in the science fiction universe. But it certainly played a key role in all of those Anderson shows, and I'm sure there will be some other mentions in Mars too. However, did you know, Richard and Podsterons, that Dad himself actually owned land on Mars? He did what? He owned land on Mars. Oh, yes, 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 he did. In April 2004, for his 75th birthday, members of the Fanderson Committee gifted him a 10-acre plot of land in Quadrant India on the Red Planet, including full mineral rights, which were all outlined in a Martian deed (laughs) that hung on Dad's wall at his office at Pinewood Studios. Mineral rights? Uh, Yes, indeed. Now, you, I'm sure, will be scratching your head and may well be asking, was all of this possible? Yeah. Uh, Well, because in 1980, uh, there was an uh, an enterprising fellow by the name of Dennis Hope. Now, he marched into his local U.S. government office for claim registries, Mm -hmm. the San Francisco County seat, and made a claim for the entire lunar surface, as well as the surface of all eight other planets in our solar system and their moons, except, of course, for Earth and the Sun, because that would be both greedy and foolish. Now, at first, the staff in this place thought it was a joke, but he persisted on the grounds that there was no law saying individuals couldn't buy land on other planets. Only corporations were banned from doing so. He then elevated this claim to the governments of the US and USSR at the time and the General Assembly of the United Nations. And because nobody ever got back to him, he was able to go into business selling off parts of the moon and Mars and various other celestial bodies. What? <laughs> now, really? I should add that in recent years, it looks like the validity of this claim has been challenged, although uh, he is still selling plots of land. Now, regardless mm. of the technicality of all this, yeah. it was still a very nice thing for that committee to do for Dad. Yes. Uh, and uh, if you too would like to own a piece of the moon or Mars, do go and look at Dennis Hope's online store. Just be aware the land is not cheap and the sales transaction may indeed not be valid. So, uh, wow. there you go. That's fascinating. <laughs> uh, well, all of which begs the question, mm. does this deed still exist? Well, How long was it in the office for? Well, well, have you got it? No, uh, have well, you got the rights? Hang on. Mm? Let me tell you this. Yeah. In 2007 or 8, yeah. Dad relinquished his lease on his office at Pinewood, which is a very sad thing for him to do. And when he did it, as usual with his um, lack of nostalgia, he wanted to get rid of pretty much everything in his office. Uh-huh. Uh, so there was an auction held, uh, and he got rid of pretty much everything that was in there, including, must I, might I add, my fake sleeping cat which i loaned to him so he could joke with somebody yeah because he once (laughs) once had a meeting in his office with this fake cat on the seat somebody pointed it out and he picked it up and threw it out the window (laughs) uh so i have a feeling that the uh he did the same with lou hirsch (laughs) once well lou shouldn't have been sleeping on that seat um (laughs) So, yes, I have a feeling the Martian Deeds went the same way as my oh. fake cat. Not just yeah. out the window, but in fact sold at auction. Uh, so right. it may be that out there someone has Jerry Anderson's <laughs> deeds for his Martian plot. Amazing. That's wonderful. Um, so, yes, if you've got those, do email us, podcast at jerryanderson.com. If you own yeah. any area of the moon or Mars or elsewhere from Mr. Hope, yeah. then we'd love to know more. But uh, I mean, I, I'm just looking at the website now, actually, and you can buy land on Mars for anywhere between $29.99 or $504.80. Gosh. Yeah, so it's ent- entirely possible. As to the validity of it, I've no idea, but uh, yes, nice thing to hang on the wall. That's fine. Yeah, a bit of a fun thing to hang on the, hang on the wall, but I mean, I don't think he was ever going to use the... Uh, the mining rights no. Uh, no, no. up there. Yeah, that's right. 